Hello, my name is Gary Durchuk. I'm a head football coach of the Edmonton Wildcats, and I've been the head coach of the Wildcats now for uh, going on 10 years. Um, I'll talk about junior football here in a little bit, but a little bit of the background on myself. Uh, I'm born and raised in the United States. I played college, major college football in the States. I coach major college football down in the States. I coached at Miami of Ohio, coached at the University of Colorado, University of Illinois, and I also coached at Northern Illinois University, all Division I schools. Um, after that period of time, I uh, joined the Montreal Alouettes. Uh, I coached the Alouettes uh, at, with the Alouettes for three years. Uh, for a year and a half, I was a head coach. Uh, after that, I came to Edmonton and was uh, an assistant coach with Edmonton for four years. Uh, having done that, I coached with the Hamilton Tiger Cats uh, for another four years. And then I got into junior coaching, and the reason I did is because I got tired of chasing. Uh, wanted to settle down a little bit, and uh, so I've been coaching junior football for uh, quite a few years now. Uh, the reason for junior football, there are lots of reasons for junior football. Um, you know, if a young man is undecided on what he wants to do with his future, uh, he can play junior football. If he, uh, his grades aren't good enough and he needs to upgrade, that's a great chance for him to, to continue to play football and uh, still work on his grades. If he doesn't want to sit at, on the bench at the university level, he can play junior football. Uh, we've got young men who are in trades. Uh, I've had five-year uh, uh, people in trades. At the end of that, decide they still want to play football and have gone on as mature students. So when you look at everything, uh, I mean, we've had uh, we've had university students who played for the university come back and play with us because they liked it so much at our level. Uh, I've got uh, two young men now playing the CFL from our team, so that was another opportunity for you. Um, as a junior football player, you can make the jump from junior to uh, the CFL if you are good enough and if you're talented enough. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons to play junior football, and as, and as far as what that will help you do. It, it, the, the next step that you take from high school to whatever level you take is the biggest jump, biggest step that you will take in football, in your football career. Uh, no matter whether it's junior or whether it's university, it is a huge step. Everybody's bigger, everybody's stronger, everybody's uh, all conference, everybody's uh, the best player on their team, so to speak. And to do that, you need to be in very good physical condition. You need to have played uh, been, a, been a, a fairly high caliber player because we don't junior football like university just doesn't take anybody to place. I mean, we uh, we have camps every year ourselves to decide who we're going to bring back to the fall camp, and by doing that, uh, it makes our players who we have already on our team from the previous year work that much harder to improve because if they don't, they will be replaced by young men coming out of high school. So it's, it's, a, it's a very competitive uh, as, uh, situation that you're going to get into if you want to continue football at the next level from high school. And uh, it's, uh, so you need to do a great job uh, as far as conditioning. It's uh, both in weight training and, uh, and uh, physical, working on speed, agility, and quickness, these types of things. And if you don't do that, you won't have a chance. And <laughs> just to tell you that, you're better off just going playing some flag football if you still enjoy the sport, or get into officiating if you still want to be involved in the in the sport. It's the greatest team sport ever invented. There's no other sport out there that takes 12 people to do the job right to be successful on every play. And if you look at things that way, you you'll understand that uh, this is a great team sport, and it takes great people with great motivation and uh, who really enjoy the game to, to be able to do this. So if you really want to move on, uh, get yourself in, in, in great condition uh, through a camp, uh, through uh, your high school workout programs, through uh, all kinds of camps that, that there are out there available to you. Uh, take advantage of these things. You see an athlete, uh, say at the Senior Bowl, what, what, what are some keys that you look at? Well, first of all, we want to know what kind of person they are we're getting into. Uh, the first thing we want is character. Uh, if we have a choice between a great athlete who's uh, a, a me guy or just out for himself, or an average athlete who's, a, who's a very much a team guy, we're going to take the average guy because this guy's going to improve more than the great one, so to speak. 
and he'll be more of a team player. And as I said before, this is a team sport. And uh, we've, we've had to get rid of very good football players in the past, people with a lot of ability who just didn't have the team concept. And uh, they're out there doing whatever right now. But all I know is our guys are, 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 are keep improving every year that stay with us. We've got lots of guys that are moving on to CIS schools. After they're done, uh, we've got guys going into the pros. So I know what we're doing that way is correct. So we, you need to be recommended to us by your coach. Uh, to, and then once you're recommended by the coach, you need to either be at a camp where we can see you or come to our camp so we can evaluate you there.